Hi there, uh, my name is Jared Milos, and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to reset an Econo switch by Honeywell. This is a programmable timer that is used in lieu of photo cells and also inside of homes for various reasons. So, if you have one of these installed, uh, of course I recommend, and the laws of the country recommend that this is done by a licensed electrician and that it adheres to all of the laws within whichever country you're in if you happen to be watching this. Now with that being said, after you have this installed, there is the odd chance that you might have a prolonged power outage. If this happens, if this happens to happen, then what we're going to have is um, your timer is going to go blank, and all of your programs, unfortunately, will be reset. Honeywell, I hope in the future we'll fix this, but as it stands right now, we can only ask so much from technology. <laughs> so, I have myself here. I have set up a timer, and I'm going to show you guys how we can go ahead and reset this so that you can do this on your own without having to incur further charges from your local electrician or whoever you have helping you with this. So, I have my timer set up to a light that I keep in my home, and right now I've set it to a, a time that has nothing to do with our current date and time, so that I can walk you through how to do this yourself. So first, your main important buttons here. You have your center button here at the bottom. This is your main button. This is your enter button. This is pretty much all you really need to know. Left, right, enter. So. To get into your menu, you hold down that center button for three seconds. Now you're going to have four options here, mode, time, configuration, and program. We're going to go through mode first, just to let you know exactly what you, what you have here, what you've purchased, and what you're dealing with. So if you click on mode there, you have three options. You have a clock, you have a hand, and you have a briefcase. The clock itself is actually standing for automatic. That means that whatever time that you have programmed this timer to use, it will go ahead and do so. If you go over to the hand, that's a manual switch. So you can just use this like an average day-to-day -day light switch in your home. And if you go over to the luggage here, that's if you happen to go on a trip, you can go ahead and set this timer and it will just turn on and off at unpredetermined amount of times. It will just do whatever it wants just to let people around you know, hey, someone might be home. It's an added safety precaution that comes with the timer. So go ahead and I want to choose automatic. So I went over there, back from the luggage, and I hold down the center button for three seconds. That has now been inputted. As you can see, right up there is my clock. Now, I think that that time is incorrect. According to my clock, anyways, right now it's at about 5.30. So we're going to go ahead and put that into the timer. To do that, hold down that center button for three seconds again. You go over to time. Then you hit that center button again. Now you have the option here to have 24-hour time or 12-hour time, or sorry, just a normal day time. Most people usually use 12-hour time. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And if you prefer to use 24-hour uh, time, power to you. Please do. So you go into 12 time, or sorry, rather, <laughs> I'm sorry, if you go into the uh, normal, okay, anyways, um, <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this. Okay, anyways, so as I said, it's 5.30 right now, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go from the 12 here, and we're going to count ourselves around past AM, and we're going to go up to 5. Now, after we get to that, go ahead and hit that center button again, poof, like that. Now we got our minutes. Go ahead and program this, just as you would a digital watch or even your phone. I mean, it's pretty similar. So, 5.30 p.m., there we go. Now, we have our year, which is obviously not 99, so we're going to go ahead up to 2014 already. I just absolutely can't believe we're already at that year, but here we go. And right now, it is January the 17th, so that happens to still be preset in there. So, just keep on hitting that center button. If For you, if it was a different date, of course, just roam around until you find the correct number and the correct date, and then hit enter. Now, all done. Hit that center button three times, for, for three seconds, rather. And now all of a sudden our time is set 5.30 p.m. on a Friday. Everything's good. The only problem is we don't have a program set in this timer yet, so let's go ahead and change that. Show you how to do that. This one I'm going to go a bit slower because this is pretty much the most important and most difficult thing that we have with um, people having service calls to help us fix their timer. Um, actually, you know what? We will wait on that. And I will time in the bottom of the YouTube video here. I will show you which time is for which setting. So um, configuration here. This is just a couple of little background things, one of which being longitude and latitude, and then this one is your screen brightness. I prefer to keep it on low because I like saving energy as an electrician. It's just something we like to do. Okay, so we have daylight savings time right now. Daylight saving time is off, so boom, yes sir. And the latitude of Toronto is 43 and minus 79, which I have already preset in. So go ahead and hit enter on those. Uh, after your electrician installs that for the first time, those will always stay in the programming. I'm not sure why it only remembers that, but it's what we're up against. So, now we are back at our menu of four options. Now, the last and most important option, which will be the, mo the most part of this video, will be showing you how to program this timer in three different ways. One of those, 
go ahead and hit program, is I'm going to show you how to use this timer so that when it's dark out, the lights come on, and when it's light out, the lights go off, also known as a photocell replacement, which is one of the main uses that this is being used for as photocells are increasingly failing on us. So now we have our on and our program one. So we go ahead and click on that. So right now we are doing a photocell timer or a nighttime only timer, however you'd like to see that. And you can see that all the days of the week are selected. You have the option of going through separate days of the week, but we'll get to that later. For now, we're just going to go ahead and let that stay at all days of the week. Now if you hit enter, you will see here that it is 5.10 p.m. That's approximately sundown right now. Um, and you can see a little moon here. This will progressively change throughout the year based on your longitude and latitude as a part of the function in this timer. Very handy feature. That's why they're replacing photocells and we're selling them like we can barely keep them in stock. So you go ahead over here. Oh, sorry about that. And after that, you click enter. The minutes are fine. You don't want to alter that. When you have a moon, that means that it's turning on the moment it's dark out. Hit that, and now we are going to go over. See how we're still blinking? That's our on time. That's all set now. You push the top right, and now we have our off time for program one. These timers have an incredible amount of capability, which most people will not really use. Um, I mean, they have 21 offs, 21 ons, and we'll get to that for some of our Jewish customers, which I'm pretty much making this video for in general because pretty much, well, you are all, or pretty much all our customers are Jewish, so this is for you guys. <laughs> Anyways, so we have our off time. So we're going to go ahead and set that like this. Blinking here, we hit enter. All the days of the week, we want that. Yes, please. And now you'll see 4 a.m., but you notice there's no sun or moon or any icons up here. So we're going to go ahead and move along, pushing the top right button until we find, give me a minute here, and you can do this yourself if you're watching, and you will soon see a little sun, 742. That's about the time in the morning that the sun is coming up, and that's when these can turn off automatically. Obviously, if you choose, you don't have to turn this, you don't have to have this timer on all night. If you just want safety lighting up until a certain time of the night, you can choose whenever you want it to turn off. But most people prefer to have the safety of their home and their vehicles lit up, especially in a big city. It's just safer to have your home lit, as it keeps thieves and all the other possible things away from your home. So. If you like that time and that's how you want to do it, go ahead and hit enter, enter, and all of a sudden we now have that program set as well. I can go ahead and hit this enter button here. There. Everything is now set up. You can see here, 534. Right now it is on because our program is telling it to be on because we are past sunup. Sundown, rather. I apologize. Now, if I choose to turn this timer off, you can see here that the off is blinking. That means that it is doing a function that is outside of its pre outside of what you've told it to do. If you happen to leave it off, it will continue blinking until it goes around to the next day, and then it will just continue functioning normally. So no worries if that happens, but if you do see that it's blinking off, that means that you should probably let it go ahead and do what you told it to. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and we are going to set this for Shabbos. We're going to do a Shabbos timer, and this is pretty much the most common times that we put this on for Shabbos. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hit the center button again and hold. Now we're going to go over, over, over to program and hit enter. Now, because we have this one set in, I'm going to show you how to go past this, reset it, and create a brand new time for Shabbos, for example. So we're going to set yes to on, and we're going to take our day of the week over to Friday. Now we have Friday. Depending on what time you light and everything like that, I say that leaving it on the moon icon is actually pretty accurate, considering that that's pretty much when you are, well, you're not allowed to use the time or the power anymore, so why not let it just go with the year, right? So you can go ahead if you choose to, or if you like to have it a little bit later for the meal by night, that's completely up to you. But I like to keep it this way because it just, I don't know, makes more sense to me. Sorry, so there we go. Go ahead and enter, enter. Now, for the off time, usually after, after all the nice... L'chaim L'chaim is that everything is said and done. We want to have this thing turn off maybe a little bit later in the night. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick the off timer for program one. And we're going to go until Saturday. I choose to use Saturday morning depending on how late the night goes, especially in winter. You know, you never know. It could stay up a bit later. So I'm going to pick Saturday and I'm going to use Saturday morning, early in the morning. So I got to go all the way back, pushing the left button. And now I'm AM. Oh, got to keep going. Sorry. So I'm going to pick myself 12 and 12.30 a.m. I find that's a good time for the main chandelier in the dining room to go out and for a lot of your hallway lights, depending on where you have a timer installed. Usually it's just the dining room and maybe your front sitting area. 
So I'm going to push enter for that. And now, again, we have put those two times in. So what we've done here, I'll go through it one more time. We have put program one in, turning on at sundown, and then turning off at 12.30 in the morning, or whatever time you choose. Now, we want to go ahead over to program two. You'll see that there is no program two. So hit that enter button right there like so. And none, you push the right stick there, and you go over to Saturday. So for the meal by day, more often than not, we like to set this one at around 11.30 a.m. Just so you can have that nice chandelier so you can actually read while you're trying to... Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, you, you can read, you can see your food, you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired. It's been a long day, but I really want to make this tutorial, and I really, really hope that it's helpful to some of you. So, we're going to turn it on for 11 a.m. during the day. Now, after the meal, we don't need that large power guzzling light on the entire time. So let's say we turn it off around, oh, I'd say about 3 o'clock p.m. So this is the program to off function. Go ahead and click into there. It says none again, so push right. We're going to pick Saturday by day again. So Saturday, and then now we're going to go to p.m. So I think about 3 p.m., I'd say most people are done eating and benching and everything's pretty much set. So you can go ahead and enter that into your program off. Again, this is completely how you use your home, your choice. I'm just showing you how you can walk through the timer. And then and if you have any questions or comments, I will make another video if there's anything that you guys have that you'd like me to show you. All right, so I'll click right here and then enter that program in. Oh, I already did. Okay, well, we're going through it one more time. Now, for the evening meal before Abdullah, you obviously want to have a little bit of light then too. So, we go to program 3 on. Click that center button there, and we're going to go over to about 5 p.m. on Saturday. That's what I'm doing there, just moving over to Saturday. Hit enter there, and we're going to go over to 5 p.m. And then from 5 p.m. on, I pretty much just put it at any time, because after that you're just going to be using this like a manual switch again for the rest of the week, of course. So, go to the off time. I'm going to pick an off time, pick that for Saturday, hit enter like so, and we're going to go back, let's just say, hmm, let's just say 8 p.m. for now. So, and again, you have the complete option with this timer, obviously, I know you have, I know you know you have the option, but this, these are just times that I'm picking randomly that are pretty common for most of the homes that we install these for. So, go ahead and hit that center button there. And you are right back to normal. So now this switch will be doing exactly what you told it to over Shabbos. And I think I need to make another one for Yom Tov. But this video is getting a little bit long. So for now, I have just shown you how you can go ahead and you can set your own time. Like so. You can set your program. For mode and configuration, those are not something you really have to worry that much about. Unless, like I said, you're going on vacation where mode is very helpful. Or configuration if by chance this is a first installation of this product then you can go ahead into configuration and put the longitude and latitude in so it will know when sun up and sun down are. So for now, um, that's my first tutorial I've pretty much ever made, so I hope it was helpful to you in some way. And if not, please comment or say something to me directly as I will be giving you this link because I'm making this for you, not for me. <laughs> and hopefully it will make it a lot easier and you won't have to have us come to your home and, you know, we don't want to charge you, but, you know, our time is not free. <laughs> so if we come there, it's just part of life, you know? So, anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will make another one for Yom Tov because it is um, a little bit more involved, and there are a lot more times that you'll have to set into the programs. So, for now, thank you for listening. This is Jared Milos. Have a nice day.